All right, today, guys, we're going to do the top five things to do or say to uh, get a boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, number five is to talk normal. Um, people want to be able to carry on an intelligent conversation, and especially when you see people on Facebook or this, and they talk like this, the one, then the at symbol. Um, you're not going to be getting anybody. You're not going to be getting any friends. People do not want to be associated with somebody who talks like this. You're not going to be getting very far in life. Um, number four, give people space. You don't have freaking hypothermia that you need to be all up on them. It doesn't matter what, oh, I got to text you every like two seconds, call you, etc. And be like, hey, how's it going? Oh, what are you doing? Then like three minutes later, oh, what are you doing? Oh, are you still eating that sandwich? Oh, Hey, um, what are you doing? Like, give, seriously, give it a rest. Like, people don't want to be annoyed. I mean, you got to give, you know, you don't want people like that. People don't want clingy people. Don't be that clingy person. Don't be all up on them. Um, my number three is don't try and change people. Um, you know, this isn't freaking Burger King where you can have it your way. Um, you, you get what you go after. I mean... If you're going to go after somebody and you see that they have this problem or that problem, well, then why are you going after them? I mean, you're not going to change it. If this person's been doing something for 10 years and all of a sudden you think that you're Mr. Right or Mrs. Right, I guess I could also say, then it's not going to work. Like, seriously, somebody's not going to change something that they've been doing. Oh, stop watching so much football on Sunday and text me every once in a commercial break. Um, no. I mean, if they've been doing that all the time, they're not going to do it, you know? The freaking Philadelphia Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys isn't going to just, oh, man, it's halftime. I mean, they can, you know, call me. No, they're probably going to go hang out with their friends if that's what they've been doing the last, you know, eight years or so. Number two, don't be shy. You see a girl or a guy over there. Do you think that magically just by looking at them, you're going to get their phone number? Do you think magically out of nowhere you're just going to be like, oh yeah, we're going to get in a relationship? No, it's not going to happen. You have to go and talk to the person. And I mean, and don't go over there with some stupid pickup line like, you know, I think I'm going to do a different um, video on pickup lines, so I'm going to save it there. But you know, if you say stupid things, it's, it's not going to work. Go over there and be shy. Don't, you know, don't hold back. Even if it's on like Facebook, befriend people, talk to people, wherever it may be. And that'll get you far. If you start little, you'll get big. I mean, it's a process. I mean, I'm not going to say you're going to go out and be getting everybody's number and, you know, boy or girl or whatever, left and right. But you got to start somewhere. I mean, if you don't, then you're not going to be getting very far if you're shy. Because, I mean, I know me personally, I hate going on a date with somebody and they're as quiet as can be. Because then that means that I am going to have to talk for most of the time. And I hate like having a, you know, pop up conversation after conversation. Because then it sounds like I'm talking to myself. And it's like, okay, I'm not going on a date with you again. In fact, I'm thinking of ways to like bail on the date that I'm already am on. You know, because it's like, I don't want to be around somebody that can't keep, you know, conversation going. So, my number one with that is be the person who you want to date. If you go after an idiot, you're gonna get an idiot. Um, if you're the type where you're looking for a relationship, you're probably gonna get a relationship. If you're looking for sex, you're probably gonna get sex. If you're a creeper, well, you're not gonna get anything except people who hate you. But, you know, besides that, in general, what you go after is what you're going to get. You know, if you're the sweet person, you're probably going to get somebody who's sweet. Believe it or not, a lot of you guys are like, oh, well, I just end up with some jerk, some some person that treats me horrible. Well, you're probably doing the same back to Even though I know there's the, a couple exceptions and a lot of you guys are going to be like, uh, no, nah, for the most part, I'm sure you've done it to somebody somewhere, you know, and you're you're gonna get it you know you reap what you sow you know you're going after something you're doing something you're gonna get the benefits and you know you're like oh well i'm dating a jerk or you know oh, i was going after somebody ended up being a jerk. well that's your poor judgment don't don't be mad at anybody else you're the one that fell for the person you're the one that believed the person's lies so i mean you you know if you're really sweet and you're really nice 
go after someone who's really sweet and really nice and you know go do the same things i said you know don't be shy about it um you know give them space if you do these few things you should be good to go and you should get the person that you um you want and so hopefully these five tips help you guys and especially seriously do not do not be this this person seriously nobody likes that person all right